Hey guys, this is Amit, um, and I'm continuing my um, Learn Linux video series. This is my second lesson, and today I'm going to talk about the uh, file system hierarchy standard or the FHS uh, in Linux. So um, we're going to talk about uh, the file system hierarchy standard or the FHS. Some people call it okay so um uh, let's take a look at the um uh, linux file system um so um let me so um the top of the um linux file system is uh, is a slash so this is also called the root root um root of the uh, linux file system okay so that's going to be slash so uh, if we go to the terminal and we do a cd um, which is a change directory uh, we go to slash that means we are going to the top of the linux file system that's the starting point so if you look at this here it's saying that we are at this slash directory Right. Also, we can always verify this using a pwd command, which is a print working directory. So uh, this is saying that we are at this slash. All right. So that is basically the starting point of a Linux system. But uh, the the thing, uh, the other thing that you want to know is that whenever you log into a Linux system, uh, um, I mean, as root or as a normal user, you're going to be taken to your home directory. So you will normally, by default, you know, you'll, you'll log in and you will be switched to your home directory. So um, uh, let me uh, just, you know, duplicate a session here. So I'm, you know, logging in as root and password. So now it would take me to uh, the um, roots home directory so if i do a print working directory it's saying me that i'm in the slash root which is the um home directory of the um root user so so if you do a ls on the um on the um slash uh, slash you'll see a bunch of a uh, bunch of directories so here uh, this is the bin directory. So the bin directory essentially, you know, it contains the essential user command binaries. So if you wanted to go to this directory from anywhere, you would do cd and then slash because that's the starting point. And then the directory is bin. So you are going in the bin directory, which resides inside this slash. So any path that starts with a slash at the front is called an absolute path. So you are basically telling um, the starting point all the way to the um, location that you want to go. All right. So um, the next directory is the boot, which is the slash boot directory. It, it contains the static files of the bootloader. So well, we can take a look at the files um, in a moment. The next is the uh, dev directory. So this one here. So that is basically a slash dev. So if you wanted to reach there, you would have to go to slash dev. So the dev directory contains all the device files. So just as you know, in Linux, um, everything is treated as a file. The hardware, the software, anything, anything, and everything is treated as a file. So all the devices, the hardware, like the floppy drive or the hard disk, everything is treated as a file. And those files reside in the slash dev directory. The next one is the slash etsy directory. So that's, again, slash etsy. So this directory contains the host specific uh, system configuration file. So, um, you know, I mean, uh, most of the times when we when we configure something on a Linux systems, we are usually, you know, going to this last it's directory. So basically, you know, all the uh, most of the configuration files, if not all reside in the Etsy directory. OK, and then a. Uh, um, excuse me and then the next one is the um the home the slash home directory 
This directory contains all the user's home directories. Okay? Directories. So like we saw when we logged in as root, we were not taken to slash home. Instead, we were taken to slash root, right? Because this is the home directory of the root user. But for everyone else, the home directory is going to be slash home and then the username, let's say, for example, uh, example, uh, example user, let's say, right? So for example, user, his, home, his or her home directory is going to be slash home and then the example user, okay? So the slash home or the home directory contains the home directory for all the users, okay? All right, next in the line is the slash lib directory. The lib directory contains the essential shared libraries and the kernel modules required for the system. So all the shared objects, the shared libraries that are required to run certain applications and stuff like that reside in the lib directory. The lost and found is the directory that contains the orphan files. So whenever you run a file system check or something, and then there is no link between the, I mean the file, the files are there, but you know there is no link. Like the orphan files are found in the lost and found directory. All right. The next uh, is the slash media directory. The media directory is just a mount point for removable media such as CD drive or the Blu-ray drive or whatever. So uh, you normally mount those external drives, the media drives uh, under inside this folder. You don't have to, but it's just the convention. Okay. The next is the MNT directory. That's, that's the mount point for a temporarily mounted file system. So if you're mounting uh, NFS servers, let's say a remote file system or anything that you are mounting temporarily, you can just, you know, um, you can just um, mount in the slash MNT. Again, it's just a convention. You can mount it anywhere, but you know, this is the, the directory is there for. Okay. <clears throat> the next in line is the OPT directory. So the, um, this is like the add-on application software packages. So maybe like, you know, some third-party applications like to be installed in the OPT directory, you know. The next is the uh, PROC file system, this one here. The PROC, actually, I think it comes from the um, processes, the shortcut, uh, it, they named it PROC. Um, so it is the virtual file system which has uh, the files, uh, you know, which describe the status of different processes in the system. It is essentially a virtual file system documenting the kernel uh, MS of the running, I mean, the, you know, status of the running kernel. So um, you have any files uh, I'm open, it's going to be here. You have any processes running, the PIDs, it's going to be there. The uh, runtime configurations are going to be in the slash proc. So that's that. The next one, the slash root directory, like we talked earlier, this is the home directory for the uh, root user. Okay. And then um, there's the um, sbin directory here the sbin directory, the slash sbin directory, it contains the system binaries, um, the commands and stuff like that. The SE Linux is the, you know, security enhanced Linux and it contains the configuration files and stuff for the SE Linux. We're not going to talk about that at this time. This is a separate topic. The SRV, the slash SRV, it, it contains data for services provided by the systems. I don't see it being used as much, so I wouldn't worry about that at the moment. Mm, the slash sys directory, let me just do the ls slash. Uh, I've never even you know, bothered to look into that. Okay, so it contains the directories for the system, the hypervisors, the firmware, the kernel, you know, powers, etc. And then the other is the slash USR directory. 
which contains the multi-user uh, utilities or the multi or the user utilities and applications you know so um uh, i mean you could just have like the you know like in the usr local src folder you could have these source codes downloaded and stuff like that the var folder contains the variable variable files and generated by the system such as logs you know the files that continually change for example are contained in this last var directory okay so um, that's that um, let's just go ahead and uh, you know let's look at the bin so it has all the binaries so um, you know for example ls is a command right so that's there that's a binary so the more command the pwd command all the commands are you know binaries and then some could be script but most of them are binaries so they reside in this last bin directory all right so um the next is the let's do us ls at this last boot so it has the boot related files ls dev it contains all the device files for example the um let's say the cd rom the cdrw or the um you know the dvds the the sda and the sda1 these are the hard disk drives and then these are the terminals you know everything the ram everything um like the device files are located in this directory Okay, and then um, let's do a ls of this last, and then let's look at the Etsy directory. Uh, just remember that I am already inside slash, so I did not type slash Etsy here, but I was still able to look into the Etsy directory because I'm already inside the slash. So this was actually a related path. So, you know, I did not type the starting point, but what I said was from wherever I'm located right now, list the contents of the Etsy directory. So if I was somewhere outside, then I would have to, if I was, for example, inside the var uh, directory, I would have to do ls slash Etsy, or otherwise I would have to just cd to slash and then do the same thing here, okay? So um, that's that. Now here you will usually see all the .con files, which are the, like the configuration file uh, notation. Um, so, you know, the sudo.conf, uh, for example, the sudo ldapconf, the acstatus.conf, yum.conf, the libuser.conf, grub.conf, you know, and then some of the applications have their own folders, for example, the cron.d, the gcrypt, httpd, you know. Now, if you look at the ls, ls etsy sttpd now you're gonna see you know the um, application is specific and then it might have a configuration file inside the um, conf folder for example so um, you see here that it has the configuration file so etsy sttpd conf and then the sttpd.conf so um, it could be some of the configuration files could be directly inside the etsy directory or you know, they could be like inside the application specific uh, directories. Okay. Now let's take a look at the, um, uh, oops, let's take a look at this last home directory. There is nothing at this time because we don't have a user yet. Let me create a user add test. So now if we look at the home, then we just, uh, we see that we have a test directory because we created this user test, it created a home directory for that user inside the home by default, okay? That's that, uh, let's do that, home. And then the uh, lib, it has all the libraries, the shared objects, uh, okay? And then um, the lost and found, I'm not sure, this is a fresh system, so it does not have any um, lost and found files. Media, we don't have anything mounted. MNT, we don't have anything. OPT, we don't have anything. Um, the PROC file system has a lot of stuff, right? So, um, so it has the um, it has the CPU info file. It has a MAME info file. 
and it has a different you know the these are the process ids for different processes running on the system right so um it has all the hardware and you know configuration related items so if i do a cat of the proc and then the uh, cpu info it's going to show me the information about the cpu so the cat command lets you view the uh, files okay and then um let's look at the uh ls slash root is the um you know root home directory like we talked earlier it has the root um files inside the root home directory sbin it has the system binaries anything that has something to do with the systems i mean that can impact the system so um that's that those are you know it contains all kinds of commands and then the ls ac linux you know it has all the um ac linux related files we don't need that at this time srv uh it's empty sys you know we checked it earlier too it has all the system configuration i mean system related files tmp um it looks like i earlier i forgot to talk about the tmp folder the tmp folder by the name itself you can i mean you can imagine i mean you can guess it's a temporary file system and any contents of the temp, temp tmp folder uh is you know deleted the time when the uh, system restarts okay that's that and then now let's look at the um usr directory it has all the you know the user binaries um user binaries the user related configuration games include libraries libexec local share all those user related files and then the last um, one here is the var folder so if you look at this you know it has all the um, ever changing files like the cas uh, the db empty uh, games related files um, you know to serve just the the log folder the logs created so you know later you are going to have to come to this of our log folder to troubleshoot like look at the logs so and then this pool directory actually comes just like anything that is outgoing like the mail and things like that um and then the tmp um inside again um www that's basically the um default uh, directory for the apache to store the web pages <clears throat> okay and then, then the yp it is for the nis we can skip that for now so um that's that i mean these are the file system you know the linux file system hierarchy standard um, um there are different kinds of flavors of linux but you know basically um they are pretty much same i mean there could be a little difference but you know so um just just to recap the slash is the starting point of or the top of the linux file system right so after that we have slash uh, bin we have slash home we have slash root uh, we have slash mnt we have slash media right so we have slash var we have all kinds of directories inside that so if you need it to this actually slash is coming from this this so you know it 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 essentially it would be uh it would be like this though let's say uh whoops uh let me put this out so if it is slash then this would be a bin directory it would be home it would be var it would be um it would be tmp but if you wanted to navigate you would have to do a cd and then slash because that's the first one right so if we have a test users home directory here then you would have to do slash home this is first second and then the third so slash test right okay so you would reach when you do cd if you are here or anywhere even if you are here you could do this cd slash home tsd so you are giving the absolute path so you're going from here all the way to here so um that's all about the um 
file system hierarchy standard and you know we went through all the different uh, root uh, folders there could be multiple different subdirectories and stuff but you know these are the main um, main um, you know top level directories so that's all you got to know and then you know I mean uh, most of the times you'll be using this last you will be uh, you know dealing with the home directory the Etsy um, the um, var um, you know I mean and maybe MNT you know most of the time goes on this folder sometimes you may have to like you know if you're downloading source and compiling applications you might uh, deal with the USR folder as well so yeah I mean um, you know um, just you know log into a system just navigate to different directories at any time if you wanted to return to your home directory you could just um, you could just type CD and then press enter and then if you wanted to come out uh, one step in a, of a directory you can just type CD dot dot and then if you wanted to go to the root folder from anywhere you can just CD slash and then you know if you wanted to go to uh, anywhere I mean let's say to slash home from anywhere you can just do slash home CD slash home all right. Hope that helps you guys. Um, just you know, uh, practice um, navigate to different directories. Uh, I mean, what you can do is you can just uh, you know cd to different directories and then do ls. You know that'll list the files. You can do ls minus a that'll list the hidden files. You know, and then um, you know we'll we'll talk about the basic commands in the next video. I'll come up with the third session. We'll talk about the uh, we'll talk about the basic commands to get you guys you know going. All right, guys, enjoy the video. Um, hope that helps you guys, and we'll see you in the next video.